Hey guys, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. I'm out here, I'm getting ready to fly my uh, Viper Jet prototype one more time, or basically a couple times. Um, what I want to do is I want to test, um, back here, uh, for lack of a better term, I call it a thrust plate. It's right at the back where the thrust from the EDF comes out. I was just experimenting, I wanted to see if that helps um, get rid of the torque roll from the EDF. So what I'm gonna do is I do one flight, I'm gonna leave it on. And then I'm going to put another battery in and I'm going to chop this off basically with this uh, knife. Then we'll throw it back in the air and see if it um, feels any different in flight. So let's throw it in the air see how it flies. Cool. Ready? Go for it. Yeah. Okay, basically with that thrust plate in, I don't notice any torque roll off the launch. I don't know if Frank got that filmed real good. Uh, um, with this 50 millimeter EDF, it just took straight off, straight up almost. So, okay, we do have a little bit of wind today. It feels like it's gusting. I don't know, probably around six to eight miles an hour. Trying to do a loop, right, Frank? Go for it. Damn, that was tight. Tight. Yeah. This field here, we're just kind of by the freeway. We don't have a lot of room to fly, so. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in. All right, everyone, the first flight went pretty good. Um, it was a little bit hard filming it with the lighting today, and this is a new camera that we got. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna throw it up for the second time. And as you can see, I did cut out that thrust plate area that was behind the EDF motor. So I just wanted to kind of experiment and see if that helps with any torque roll with the motor. Um, so we're gonna throw it back in the air and see if I can notice any uh, difference with the way the plane flies or feels. Yeah, and see if you feel like it's got a little more power now. Yeah, because yeah, there's there less blockage or Stuff in, uh, disturbing the air coming out of the EDF. Okay, you ready, Frank? Yep. Okay. Well, I'll step back a little bit. Let's go straight up again. Alright. Yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed with this plane with the uh, amount of power it has. It pretty much climbs right out. So it didn't look like it had any torque roll on the takeoff. Yeah, that launch looked a lot smoother than the first yeah, one. Yeah, so, so actually, it looks like it's flying fine. I don't really... So it didn't really affect the, the launch at all, Paul? Not really. I didn't see any torque roll. And I was taking off probably about three-quarters throttle. I don't really feel a whole lot of difference in thrust. It might be a little bit more, but, you know, it's not a real big difference, so... So I guess when I do make the plans, I'll leave that on there as an optional. Um, leaving it in will probably make it a little bit more structurally strong, uh, but still, it still feels fine without it too. The, uh, what about the overall thrust? Structure. Does it feel like you have more thrust without it there? No, it feels pretty close to the same. So it didn't really make a whole lot of difference.
Seems like you're getting pretty decent flight times out of it yeah. too. Yeah, this is running a little bit bigger battery than I uh, originally wanted. I'm running a 1400 milliamp 4S pack. Uh, which makes it a little bit heavy for a 50 millimeter EDF, but you remember what it weighed in at? Um, I thought it was 18 ounces or a little over 18 ounces, a little over a pound. Okay, I'm gonna bring it around and bring it in. Um, feels like it's still got plenty of power, but I'm just gonna bring it in to keep the video somewhat short. Oops, coming a little fast. All right, guys, that's the uh, Viper Jet prototype.